What is up guys? It's Awana Turtle. Today we're doing some more Magic the Gathering openings. We're going further into War of the Spark. Um, definitely hit that like button down below if you're enjoying the set and let me know how your pulls are going. If you haven't seen our last video, definitely go check it out. We had the most insane hit. I can't believe we got that pull. Um, you just have to go check it out. It's crazy. Uh, so let's go through some comments. Ooh, no escape. That's a new one. Turret Ogre, that's interesting. Let's see, so a lot of these we've seen. Relentless Advance. The army is really cool, like they, I'm assuming it's an undead army. Such a cool set so far, really enjoying opening up these packs. Really enjoy getting all these cool uh, Planeswalker. Here's Samut, this one I don't haven't seen before. Creatures you control have haste. That sounds really good. And then for a minus one target creature gets plus two plus one and gains haste till end of turn. Why does that why does that need that second part? But uh Samut sounds really good. Ooh, right off the bat, we have a mythic and rollesque epic hybrid. I'm gonna start putting some of these cards over here, I think. Oh no, I guess you can't really see it, it's kinda of far away. Whatever. Alright, let's keep going. Let's see, we still have yet to pull a Tafari. I really want a Karn, that's the one I want the most. And the, obviously things like the Nicol Bolas, the Liana. All right, let's just go through these ones. Ooh, that's cool. Spark Reaper, Field Chandra, Shadow, Wonder Strike, Relentless Advance again, Enforcer Griffin. All right, then we have a Mayhem Devil, Neo Form. Oh, okay, so there is some like, get some guild stuff. Oh, there he is. It's like, oh, you know, I think I could go for a Karn right now. Boom! Here's a Karn. There's a Karn for you. How about that? Actually, we didn't check this guy out. All right, so for uh, five, that's a pretty high cost. Four, five, Flying Trample. Um, enters the battlefield, put two plus one plus one counters on another target creature. When it dies, proliferate, then proliferate again. Hmm. I feel like it does a lot, but... You know, it's a, it's somewhat situational, so I feel like it's not good enough. It does a lot, but it doesn't do... It does it kind of all over the place. It doesn't do just, like, one thing good enough. Any one thing. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's pretty cool. Kiora. I do like Kiora. I feel like a lot of times she draws cards. Untapped target permanent. Starts at 7, though, for only 3 mana. Whenever When a creature with power 4 enters the battlefield you control, draw a card. I like that. Kiora was kind of... Ooh... We have a submarine <laughs> deals damage to a player or planeswalker draw a card i feel like this thing should have like island walk or something um but yeah kiora is always kind of about drawing cards and playing huge creatures like leviathans and stuff like that and who doesn't like drawing cards drawing cards is the best all right let's see we have a vizier of the scorpion eternal taskmaster that's cool and then a Hulati from uh, Ixalan, I think. Plain wide celebration. And considering what we see up there, it looks like they defeated. Uh, now let's see what this is. Choose four. You may choose the same, the same mode more than once. Okay. Oh, this is for seven mana though. Create two citizen token. That's all colors. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Proliferate. Gain four life. That's weak. Kind of like a split card. It's split four ways that you can use any one of them two times. No, no, basically it's a split card, so it's pretty bad. Evolution Sage. Liliana's Triumph. I believe this is pretty good. Each each point sacrifice a creature. That's really good just for two. If you control a Lily, um, also discard a card. Nice. It's a good hit right there. I'll put this up here. Actually, this could go in the. This is the Planeswalker side. And speaking of Planeswalker, Angrath, Captain of Chaos, never heard of you, but you look, you look pretty cool. And then Command the Dread Horde. That's an, ooh, a foil. All right, here we go. This is like our third Casmina, but I'm happy to have a foil one. I feel like the art, the picture, the size of the picture is, has been growing. It's like magic is finally, for better, for worse, joining the things of like Pokemon and other card games. I guess Yu-Gi-Oh! hasn't happened really in Yu-Gi-Oh! where they just take up more and more of the card for the art. So Magic the Gathering is finally going that way. We have a Bleeding Edge. 
Bond of Revival, Samut for the Hasters, and then a Dread Horde Arcanist. Arcanist. Man, War of the Spark is so cool. I have to imagine this this set is probably going to be the biggest success for Magic: The Gathering. Um, I'm not sure since when, <laughs> but in a long time, if ever. The fact that they that's weird that it kind of covers up. This guy looks like um, Rai Kylo Ren almost. So I'm not sure what your name is. Oh, he's Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage at the beginning of each. Beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in their hand, deals two damage to them. Uh, target player discards a card. Wow, target player discards a card. That, this guy is good. For only three. Alright, we have a Mizium tank. For three, a 3-2, three, crew one. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Mizium tank becomes an artifact creature and gets plus one, plus one. Hmm. Oh, that's not, eh, I can see that being pretty good. Maybe if they had haste or something like that. Alright, Tybalt's Rager. It's a major Rager. Bond of Insight. Ooh, Dovin, Hand of Control. Nice. Uh, Roll Reversal. And then a Charm Stray. Let's check Dovin out real quick. Artifact Instant Sorceries. Your opponents cast across one. Ooh, what? That's really good. And he starts at 5. Until the, your next turn, prevent all damage that would be dealt to and dealt by target opponent, target permanent opponent controls. Wow, that is insane. These like uncommon planeswalkers are really strong and they cost so little. You mean you don't even need to use Dovin's ability, just have his um just his passive is really good. That's insane. And the uh, the meta like the standard meta is going to be planeswalkers everywhere. Turn of Taskmaster. So Healy, this is another good one. For only three again, it starts at five. It's so such high starting loyalties. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a one-one servo artifact creature. Insane. Minus two. If again, maybe don't you don't even have to do it. Target artifact you control becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature you control to end of turn. Interesting. Awaken. This guy looks familiar. Not sure why. Put nine plus one plus one counters on target land you control. Interesting. That's actually. Hmm. So your land becomes a nine nine for five mana though. So you lose a land, you gain a nine nine. That's pretty good. Augur Bolus. Although you can lose, you can lose the land if you just like, uh, just somehow removes it. Liliana's Triumph, nice. Ugin the Ineffable, awesome. Colorless creatures you cast cost mine uh, less two less to cast. Exile top card from library, put it face down and look at it. Create a two two colorless creature token when that token loses power. Wow, that's insane. Man, these are just so strong. Man, I have to say, this has been an amazing box. So many good cards. I'm not. I think feel like we pulled maybe three or four mythics. Tenth District Legionnaire, Challenger Troll, another Dovin, nice. Mobilized District. I feel like I'm messing up my piles. All right, last pack for our first box of War of the Spark, and you know we're going to be doing more. So stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that sub button on your way out. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the videos. And uh, yeah, tell me about your pulls down below. Um, so thanks for all the support. We got a Rouse Outburst, Elite Guard Mage, Vraska, nice. For four mana, five loyalty again, so high. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals damage to a player or Planeswalker, put plus one, plus one counter on that, and that's okay. Uh, create a 1-1 one, one Black Assassin creature token with Death Touch. Interesting. Wow, death, and since they're assassins, they kill planeswalkers right away. That's actually really, whoo, nice. And we got a mythic. Niv Mizzet is back. Dragon Avatar for one of each mana. 6-6 six, six Flyer. When enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 cards of your library for each color pair. Choose a card that's exactly these colors from among them. Put the chosen cards into your hand. 
Okay, so basically you get a bunch of gold cards. Interesting. So this can be an insane card drawing engine, potentially, but um, that would be tough to use that deck for all those different colors. Um, or I guess you just target specific ones. So very nice card. Uh, wow, insane box. Uh, really enjoying this so far. Um, yeah, definitely, again, hit that like button. Let me know how your pulls are going. What have you pulled? What are you searching for still? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for all the support. Um, man, War of the Spark, it was worth the wait. This set is insane. Really enjoying this, and stay tuned for more videos soon to come, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.